Excellent. We have completed the last business knowledge topic. Now we are going to advance into platform knowledge. In this, we are going to simply focus on different UiPath products. So this is the topic. List and describe high level use of UiPath products. What are these products and how many total products are there? Everything you are going to understand in this particular video. Great. So let's get started and understand the platform knowledge. Now in UiPath, there are three category of product. The first category is called discover. So in that, what are the tools that comes under discover? One is process mining tool, task mining tool, communication mining. These are the three different products in mining, process mining, task mining, communication mining. Then comes automation hub. Then comes marketplace. So these are the five products that comes under discover. Now the next set of product is called automate. In automate, you will use studio. That is studio family where you have studio, studio X and studio web. Second robots, assistant, integration service is another product. UiPath apps is another product. Data service is another product. Action center is another product. So this comes under your automate. And the next one is document understanding. Clear? So this is the automate. Now make a note of all these products. Let's move on to then the last one is AI center. Let's move on to the next category. So discover and automate you have seen. Let's move on to the next category. Next category is operate. In operate, there are again products. You have UiPath insights, test suite, orchestrator, automation ops, automation cloud, automation suite, unified admin so these are the products now the question comes rakesh you have given us so many products now how do i really learn about and understand which product is used for what right we have gone through all these products now i'm going to show you all the documentation now the very first thing the uipath academy course that you have to go through is explore automation development with UiPath Studio. And this topic is covered under overview of the UiPath business automation platform. This is the subtopic. Now here you have a very nice picture. Okay. Discover, automate and operate. So if you look at discover, you have process mining, task mining, communication mining, automation hub and marketplace. Now if you click on automate, you have Studio family, robots, assistant, integration service, apps, data service, action center, document understanding, AI center. Just right now, don't worry. Simply see the products, okay? Then you have operate in that you have got insight, test suite, orchestrator, automation ops, automation cloud. So these are the products and bit of definitions which are given. But you need a bit of more clarity on all of these products. For that, I have actually got you all different links of your part docs. I'm going to show you. Apart from that, there is also something called glossary and terms. So here, for example, I want to understand what is studio, what is studio family, studio web, studio X studio, what is a robot, right? What is an attended robot? So in the glossary section, you have all the definition, which I would recommend you to go through. Now here our objective is to go through each product. Now, just to understand, for example, I was talking about task mining right test manager uh, process mining i don't have at the moment automation ops is there right insight is there studio web is there so these are the different products of uipath now let's go through each one of them one by one i'm going to pass all the links that i'm going to show you in the description of the video and i want you i would recommend you to literally go through this documentation which will help you to prepare for the exam so you don't have to literally understand how it works you have to have a knowledge high level understanding of what is the product what is the use of the product let's start with process mining okay introduction to process mining what is uipath process mining so here you get the definition uipath process mining is a process mining solution that transforms data from it system into visual interactive dashboards so like this you can highlight all the important words for each of the product so that in exam, if any questions are found, which tool will be chosen to transform data from IT systems? So if there are multiple options, you can definitely know process mining should be the right option. 
So if you go through this documentation and highlight the important ones, it will help you. Okay. So this is the process mining because I don't want to go through there. You can see there are so many products around 21, 22 products are there. So I don't want to literally go through each of this. Rather, I would be passing this links in the description. You know, have a notebook and start documenting the important points or highlight the important points with a highlighter tool. So I have a highlighter tool. For example, if I highlight something super simple highlighter, this is one of the extension that I have installed. Okay. So similarly, we can highlight or make a note of it. Now the next product, which is task mining. Now what is task mining? Task mining enables you to gain a deep understanding of existing processes happening on your team desktop and discover new automation opportunities. So these are the words, okay? Discover new opportunity, opportunity uh, automation opportunities and process improvement areas. So here the entire document, at least the very first document you have to go through for process mining also, go through entire document and highlight. So this is task mining. Similar way we have communication mining. Okay, communication mining can also understand how business can use communication mining. So there are links available down below. You can go and watch and highlight the important points. Similar way, what is automation hub? So UiPath automation hub is a collaborative process, identification, automation, pipeline management and process repository tool. Okay, so these are the document. Similarly, what is marketplace? UiPath Marketplace is one-stop shop for enterprise-grade RPA content published by RPA experts and practitioners from across the globe. Marketplace offers 1500 plus reusable RPA listings. So like that, if you go through, you will get a understanding. So if you, you must have this understanding because any questions are framed, you know which option to choose. Very important. Next, what is integration service? I have videos on integration service in case you would like to have an understanding. You can also go through that on my channel or else going through the document also should help you. Okay, I have highlighted few points here. Okay, integration service. Now, next is UiPath apps. What is UiPath apps is used for? It's a low code application development platform that enables you to build and share enterprise grade custom applications. Okay, similar way, let's go through each of this data service user guide. What is data service? UiPath data service is a persistent data storage service that brings powerful no code data modeling and storage capabilities to your robot. These are the definitions which are very, very important. What is action center? Action center offers business users a way to handle actionable items and provide business inputs to robots. Okay, so I'm, I'm quickly going through it, but again, I want you to literally at least the first page you have to go through and understand. Next is document understanding. Okay, this is also a link I'm going to share. Next we have about AI center. UiPath AI center is a service that allows you to deploy, manage and continuously improve machine learning models. What is insights? So insight is a web application that serves as a platform for data modeling and analytics uh, analytics using combination of available business metrics and operational insights. Insights is a, one of the application in your orchestra you should be able to. I think if you have the service enabled, you should be able to find that. Then you have got test suite. Okay, test suite. What is a test suite? Then you have got orchestrator. Any, you know, most of you must be knowing orchestrator. So this is the introduction page. Then you have uh, automation ops. Okay. Then you have automation hub. I think automation hub, I have already shown it. Next, automation cloud, right? Cloud means you have all the products, the orchestrator that the initial one I have shown you. Uh, you have integration service, apps, all the products will be listed, automation cloud. So what is the automation cloud? Then what is automation suite? Okay, this is the, this is the link. Then uh, admin console, right? How will you manage? So these are the important things where I'm going to share the link. Uh, I don't want to literally discuss each one of it because each one is a topic. But I, if you go through this introduction uh, pages, I think you would get an idea. I would recommend you to have a notebook and write them out. Process planning, okay, this is the important keywords. So when you list it down, what happens? You get a fair idea of each of each product. 
okay so that is the objective of this video thank you for watching please do watch all the links i am going to share in the description of this video thank you guys let's meet in our next video